black locust. What did you have last week? Honey, Honey locust. All right, disassociate those two. <laughs> They're only in the same family. And to show you how they can be just so dissimilar, beech and oaks are in the same family. So that's Italia. They don't, they're not very similar. So they just have the same name, okay? They're, they're not that close. The other thing that gets people is this has spines. Uh, and out here, on the, out here where I'm at, we may not see any spines. But if you go back in, like yesterday, right in here, this thing's just loaded with these sharp spines that are a pair always where the leaf is. So you're like, okay, locust, sharp thing, and you confuse honey and black locust. Okay. Honey locust had thorns. What was significant about that? Thorns are twigs. Thorn begins with the letter T, twig begins with the letter T, associated that way. A thorn is a twig. It's just modified into this sharp thing. A spine, literally morphologically, is a stipule. Stipules often occur on different species at the base of the leaf. They're little leafy appendages where the petiole attaches. They might look like little two little rabbit ears, green. They might look like Mickey Mouse ears. They might look like little threads, but they're a little primitive leaf at the base of the leaf. Well, in this case, they've turned into these sharp things. So they only will be where the leaf is. And honey locusts, they're twigs. They can be all over the trunk. I mean, you saw them. I pulled one off last week and had a leaf on it. So it's like, I don't know if I'm a twig or a thorn. I'll decide next year. Quite literally, it will. It'll either die this winter and then just be this dead ball of thorns on the tree, or it might in the spring start growing. Okay? So that's a big difference, and that's kind of like botanical trivia. Spines equal stipules, but it helps to identify it right, if you know where they're coming from. Okay, other things. This leaf is never doubly compound. Honey locust was singly and doubly compound. This is always singly compound. Honey locust fruit looked like what? Big, big helical twist. Remember, big pod like that. These pods, which we didn't find any Monday or Tuesday. You never know, maybe today. <laughs> uh, they're only two or three inches long. They literally look about the size of a snow pea. Okay? But they're going to turn brown and brittle. You'd never think to eat. Like in the summer, they're green and pliable. So you might think, hey, are these edible? But right now, they're going to be brown, and they turn very, very brittle, and they actually will snap. But it, it's a flat uh, pea pod, is what it is. Uh, the tree is native, and it's really good for firewood. Super good firewood, and it's very, very, very good fence posts. It's, it's more, probably more decay-resistant than treated lumber is. It is really naturally very, very decay-proof. So farmers have known, since they've been putting up fences, that this was the thing to use <laughs> if they can get their hands on it. And it fixes nitrogen. It has nodules on its roots. Mm -hmm. There's a little interesting. Thing. So it can kind of grow in really, really harsh area. This gets almost rope-like ridges going up the tree. Very open, weave. I mean, they do weave. but. Uh, not like an ash kind of thing. Very, very, very high, tall ridges. And it's very fibrous, almost you can hear it, how it, how it sounds. And honey locust was literally like hard as armor. That stuff was like solid. This is very, very, uh, much more corky.